Hello everyone, welcome back. Hey, how's everybody doing? So good to see everyone. Today is a nail design and this week is the start of my very special um, designs and outfit to come. I had a lot of fun doing this one, but it also is pretty special. So this one, the next one, and the next one after that. So the nail design, the toe design, and the outfit for the next three videos, um, the next three weeks, I should say, are going to be all pretty special. I hope you guys will enjoy this. This one here I did is a beautiful matte red look. It's meant to look oriental, and you'll know why when you see the outfit. Um, but that's what I was trying to achieve here. And then you see you've got that wet look in there. It's supposed to look like rain and dew on it. And then I did do that little charm in the nail again, and I did a red charm in there. I really like it as long as I've got the hole. I might as well take advantage of that, right? I'm just going to do it a few more times before I change out and do a new set of nails. But anyways, I'm enjoying wearing them, and they are fun to wear. Like I said, it was a 90s thing, and I'm so glad it's back. I love them. But um, anyways, I hope you guys like this design. You see all the little crystals in there. Of course, you'll see the video better. And of course, the pictures at the end. I hope you guys will enjoy it. I hope you will enjoy the toe design. And also, uh, I can't talk. And also, the outfit to come is very special. So anyways, you guys take care. Have a great night. God bless all of you. And let's get started on today's design. Love you all. See ya. Hey everyone, so here is the design I chose for this week and it's very special. The outfit's very special too. If you'd like to see how I did this one, stay tuned. Hi everybody, so I've got my base going here for my next design and I'll show you what I'm using in today's design. So for this color, a beautiful, beautiful red. It's um, almost like a deep cherry and it's by CoverGirl and it's called Fate, Fate in France. I will list all the supplies down in my box again. And as you see, they have been top coated with a um, clear top coat, shiny, because I just wanted them to dry up. Even though I'm gonna use a matte, I always use um, my dry fast top coat to smooth everything down so the matte looks really good. So that's how I started was that. And then I will be working with acrylic paints. I'll be working with this black one and this silver just to kind of give it some highlights. And then I will be top coating with the matte top coat and then after I matte top coat I'm going to make those little flowers a little bit shiny so they look like kind of like raindrops on them and then I'm going to be using these tiny stones like I used in one of my designs before I used the teal ones I'm going to be using those red ones so and then I'm going to stick with still using my little charm like I did in the last video but this one here is a red one if you can see that I'll tilt it to the side it's red so I'm going to be putting those hanging off the pinkies because I really like that look. So I'm going to get a few of these done and I'll return. Okay, so here's what I've got going on now. I've also did the highlights in there. And you see it's kind of like um, a little bit oriental looking. That's kind of what I'm going for. And I just did some to the top, some to the bottom. And I'll show you how I'm doing it. I've got the other hand done up on the pinky and the pointer and my thumb. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. So up here I did it to the top. So here I'm gonna come up from this side and then over here I'm gonna come down from that side. So let me get my paint in the right order here. So I'm just using this brush. It's got a very little tiny end to it and it's number 0000. So I'm going to dip into my black to start with. Make sure I'm in frame here. Okay, so I'm gonna come up from this end here and I'm just gonna draw a really little, thin little branch, kind of swaying it like that Hopefully you can see this because it's black. And then I'm gonna go to this side and do the same thing, but come around like that way. And then I'm gonna bring one to the other side, coming down, and I'll make this one a little longer like that. And then over here, I'm gonna have it coming down from, let's go like this. Have it coming down from this side. So I'll set the brush down and just kind of sway it like that. And these are just gonna be the branches just to attach the flowers to, like that. And then one more along this side, like that. So that's how they're gonna be like that. 
Then I'm going to dip into the black again and I'm going to start the flowers. And all I'm doing here is kind of dotting. So I'm going to do four, four petals. So I'm just going to kind of dot, dot, get some, a little bit more paint. I'm going to dot and dot like that because these are pretty tiny. So I just don't, I'm not trying to make it, you know, like a perfect petal, but it, it turns out that way. Then over here, I'm just going to do three petals there. And then I'll come over here and kind of down inside of here, I'll do the same thing. Just dotting the petals in because like I said, this is a really tiny flower. So like that, I'm just going to do three petals on that one. And then I'll come over to this flower and I'm going to put one right in here with four. Again, just dotting, just dotting in my petals, just making sure I get four petals that you can see. Okay, and then I'll go over to this one down more towards the end here. And again, just dotting those petals in, shaping a flower like that. And I'll leave it right there so I don't mess up any more of that so you can see it. And then I'm going to dip into the darker, I made a, a gray black. So I'm going to dip into that to make my leaves. Okay, so I'm just going to make a couple, just a very, very small amount of leaves. It's going to set my brush down, go to one side to the other and just pull. And then I will put one maybe down in here. And they're just really, really tiny. You're barely going to even see them, but I just wanted to finish this design off with that. And then this one here. I'll put one here just to one side and then to the other and kind of just pull. I'll put one right here. And and like I said, these are so tiny. I'm gonna put one right on this side. One side and to the other and just pull, just like that. Now you see the design is pretty dark when it's got the black in there like that, but when you add in that silver, it gives it kind of a highlight. So now I'm gonna go into a mixture I made that's silver and black more more to the silver but silvery black and all I'm trying to do is highlight so that now I'm just gonna dot over those flowers hopefully you can see this I'll draw it in sorry I'll draw this in closer okay so we're working on this one so I'm gonna be dipping in a mixture I made of silver and black more black than silver and I'm just dotting it but I'm trying to find the color that's the the lightest of the two so that you can see it like that and then one over here making sure I'm dipping in the right silver so you see it but I just don't want it to be too much and then over those leaves just gonna kind of dot in that leaf too and then we'll go to this one same thing just gonna go on the petals and just give it a little dot of, of silver silvery black just so like I said so it makes the flower pop a little more because this red is pretty dark so you really need your flower just to stand out a little bit. And then dipping into almost pure silver is how I'll go through the leaves since I made the leaves with a silver. Silvery black. So I'll just go through like that. And then see, it just pops it then. It makes the, the design pop. And it's gonna design it's gonna pop even more once I top coat over them with a little bit of um, clear top coat after these are matted. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna look you know, really, really pretty because the flower will stand out more because it'll be matted. Let me draw away from here now. So I'll bring this up. So that's what I've got. So I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to matte top coat them. And then um, I will be back to show you when I'm putting the stones on and doing the clear part. But real quick, I just wanted to come in and show you. I first top coated them with my shiny top coat to dry everything up. And then I matted it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But I'll show you one shiny. That's what it looks like, the difference. And I just think it is so beautiful matted, and it's going to go really great with the outfit. So I'm going to finish okay, up here. Okay, see what I'm doing here? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Looking like the raindrops coming down on the flowers, and you've got some big drops coming down. That's what I'm doing. Now I'm working with my Sesh Feet top coat and this little brush that I started with to make the flowers. And I just put a little bit of the top coat out. And all I'm going to do is, I'll show you how I'm doing this. I'm just going to drop a little bit right in the center here. And then I'm just going to pull up like that to make it look like a raindrop. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to kind of just sporadically go through and just add some shininess to make it look like it's like dew on everything. I'll draw in closer so you can see this. 
So you see how I'm doing that? Now I'll go to the next one and I'll show you. So this one I'll do the drop up here, drop it down like that, and then just kind of pull up. And then through the flowers, I'm gonna do another one, probably about right here, and just kind of pull it to the side like that. And then now I'm just gonna kind of just go through the design just sporadically, just adding some a little bit of wetness to it. So it looks like the whole design, see, like it's been raining. So I'm gonna finish this out and I'll okay, go on to I'm the all stones. done. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it with the stones in it. It's just wet looking like it's been raining and it's just gorgeous and elegant. I have left a few fingers open to show you, so I'm just using that brush on glue. Again, I will list all the supplies down in my box. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there. And I've got some already on that finger and get my little uh, toothpick. I'm just gonna pick up my stones here. Of course, I had no trouble picking them up when I was off camera again. So I'm just gonna set that down in the glue there and give it a little push into the glue because these are not gonna be top coated because we've already got, you know, it's matted so you can't top coat this. So we're just gonna push it down into the glue so that it settles. Always so much harder when you're on camera. Otherwise, I pick up these stones like nothing with this toothpick. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. But this is what I love about these stones is they are so tiny. So they can go right into the centers of these flowers. I just love the size of these. They're a 2mm. Love, love, love the size of these. They're just perfect. Oops. And then we'll put one right there. Hopefully this glue didn't dry on me because I didn't realize I had already put glue on this finger to show you guys, but it looks like it hadn't glued yet. That's awesome. So there you go. I'm gonna finish up this finger and I will be back to show you the end. All right, I'm all done. I had a lot of fun doing this, as you noticed in my video. I love the way it turned out with the mat and then of course doing it with the raindrops, the dew look, it really turned out pretty. I love this one. I think it's so pretty elegant looking and just, I don't know, I just really, really love it. And it's going to match my outfit so good and I'm so excited to show you guys this outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this design and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great night, everyone.